lock in mentally, all right, and remember what we're doing. What the f That's tattoo, that's tattoo. The team we're gonna be most in shape is gonna be the team we're winning, I promise you. What advice do you have for me? I played in a $1 million basketball tournament. It's pretty much like March Madness basketball. There's 64 teams. Instead of the winning team winning a trophy or whatever, you win a million dollars. And I played for the Valparaiso crew, an AC team. So I drove two hours from Indianapolis all the way to Valparaiso to be stuck in that bum crap of nowhere area for a whole week. We have made it to the team hotel. We got a Dairy Queen right next door to the hotel and a Culver's right across the street. So that'll be my diet for the week. We're gonna start unpacking. We're gonna get all my luggage inside of the room. If I can... This is not my car. This is not my car. Oh my God. This is... That is my car. Holy sh Okay. That's... We're off to a bad start. This is my car right here. You can tell because my Norma tats are right here. My door dash back and my scumpy Paul George shoes. Let's go, bro. The king is here. First day of practice means I gotta wear my alma mater shirt. Uh, alma mater? Alma mater. Alma mater. Alma mater. Alma mater. IEPUI. Even though IEPUI actually banned me for life for trying to check into the basketball game eight months ago. So I'm already late to the first practice of the week because Jason's not very happy right now. As you can see, there he is. Am I a 99 overall still? Or Are you a what? A 99 overall team? Yeah, you're a 9. Huh? Is that what you're saying? No, 99 overall. Like, my ranking. For yeah, you're 99. Love it. Since I was one minute late for practice, coach punished me by making me do the game clock for our first scrimmage. So they got me doing scoreboard on the first day of practice because I was late. Not a good start at all. I also think they didn't pick me to play because uh, I'm, not, I'm not tall enough. I wish I had a little time out. The boys are tired right now. I'm exhausted. I'm doing a shot clock. I kept telling myself that if I keep grinding on the clock, I'll eventually be able to grind on the court. And that's exactly what happened when my teammate got hurt. Hey, you need to stop? You need to stop? No? Almost. All right, bet. Overall, we had a great first practice, and the vibe cannot be any higher. No, we're good, good. If you, if you need to stop, let me know. Hey, you saw how I was my scoreboard? Yeah, you was working. What do you mean by that? That's the best, best, best in the biz. Two hours of pressing buttons was not gonna stop me from showing these boys that I can splash from the three. I also heard that wearing no shirt on the court actually improves your shooting. Hey! I also heard that tomorrow's practice can be even more difficult than today's. So I had to get my free throws in. Just like that, last one in the gym, per usual. With day two train camp starting, I had to set the tone some clean ass dabs. There you go. Yes, sir. We had, dude, we had a crazy little, uh, Joe. Slime ball. How we doing? Good practice. That's right, that's right. My guys, Ames and Luke, arrived to the hotel and helped me film our practices for the day. Hey, chat. Worry about crazy though with it. Tato, on the golf foot. <laughs> in the golf fit. Woke up a little late. Had Luke waiting for us. I didn't want him to keep him waiting, so. Went the wrong way on the highway <laughs> and I had to turn around. Luke Bolor, the goat, was the producer for the 100 free throw challenge. Yep. Cool. King. Live it. King, literally. 100 pound gap on this pimpy that I push. And we're late. Obviously appreciate you being here, but with you being late today, like 10 minutes, it backed us up. It's not a punishment, but it's just to hold everybody accountable. I need you to run like two right now. And I got you on the clock for a minute 15. He drove, that's why we were late. On my whistle. A down and back is where you have to run to the free throw line and back. Good, you're right on pace. Run to the half court and back. You can do it! The other free throw line and back. Twain, what's up? How we doing? I was I was late today. I was late today. Ah! And the end of the court and back. Oh my god! You got this, man. Just here we go. Here we go, big dog. Run through. <laughs> Holy sh! Come on, man. Just sprint through the finish. We're running out of time here. We'll cut it to one. Oh my god! Sprint through that finish line, baby. I'm trying. Yep. I'm trying. Holy shoot! That's a good one. That's a good one. Ah. I think I saw a few other players too. Yeah, I, I, I think actually half the team showed up late. We had to switch gyms because I was sweating so bad. It got all over the floor and it was actually so dangerous that we couldn't actually like, run or walk on the floor. So here I am shooting some more shots, getting ready for what's going to be probably the worst 55 minutes of my life. All right, man, first practice. Every drill we go through, I'll try to teach it as quick as possible. Lock in, have a good mental day. Six minute dynamic warm up on that baseline. Here we go. I don't know why coach made me warm up when I just ran pretty much five miles before practice started. My body was still aching. My body's already going through enough pain just from walking and living at this point. But if there's one thing I learned from playing so much Warzone and Fortnite in my life, it's to never give up on your squad. Ironically, I had actually always gave up. 
think I tore my ACL. I'm not gassed out. I think I tore my ACL. I'm, I'm not gassed out. Ah. Okay. I think I'm feeling better. We'll see. We'll see. How, depending on how his drill is. Coach Jason's putting us through three different drills today. The first one is simple: catch and pass. The first 40 seconds, we're going right here and passing. I'm gonna help. No Ooh. dribble. No dribble here. Yeah, I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, Manis. Go. One more. Drop that. Ball, ball, ball. Throw it in. Man, to stay out for this one. I gotta be honest, they call me the white James Harden. I'm, I can't play defense for shit. I won't, no, I refuse to play defense. I just shoot. How are your handles? Ass. Damn it! I went low! Bro. Other side, Joe. Other side, Joe. God damn it! Who's the dog on this team? Oh, well, we got a lot. They're still on the leash, so Friday night we're letting them off the leash and they're gonna go crazy. Jabril, center, I got the dog. Max, this dude's a great defender. Joe, Bakari, they're insane. Rome is a sneaky little point guard. I have the peanut butter, beat up the jelly. You feel me? What do you think of Mantis' form? A little bit unorthodox, but it's not, you know, Sean Marion didn't have the greatest shot. As long as it goes in, Who's the team talking about for Friday's matchup? Like, Yogi Ferrell's the main problem right now. That's an IU legend. He's playing the NBA overseas. I know he can't dunk anymore. I've seen his free throws, not that great. I don't think he can go left either. I think we're damn near the same height. He might have an inch or two on me. Height and third leg. But they're putting me in the last play of the first half. They're calling it the Mantis play, where I'm getting one shot. I think Yogi's going to be on me. As long as I can just get one open or just a little bit of space, I can pull it up on him. What's it going to feel like when you make a shot after all the time? I might blacked out. The last time I blacked out was when I kissed Lisa Ann. Great to see you again. Great to see you, You're the best you, mom ever. Mm, love you. You too. We'll see you. I was not expecting that. I just f***ed it up. Let's bring it. Hey, real quick, I appreciate y'all letting me work out with y'all. I ain't gonna be able to rock out with y'all, man. But the one thing I can tell y'all about this tournament, man, the best thing y'all can do for each other is to come in shape. The team who's gonna be most in shape is gonna be the team who wins this, I promise you. And when you're in shape, everything else follows mentally, physically, you know what I'm saying? So just be in shape, do some extra shit. Team on three, man. One, two, three, team! What are you gonna do with the million dollars when we win it? I'm opening a venture store. I'm buying a Tesla. I'm at Tesla. Put some money in my, in my kids' fund. What you getting? Uh, probably V-Bucks, honestly. How so, important is Mantis to this team? Very important. He our energy guy. So when we see him out there getting working, missing, making, he's trying, he's cussing himself out. Like, bro, it, it just shows that basketball just brings a lot of people together. We had our final shoot around the day of game day, about 1 p.m. at Butler University. This is my first time practicing at Butler University. I gotta say, they got a really nice practice gym. The floor is nice and hard. Pause. They got a nice gold, shiny floor. The rims are very, uh... Remy, and I gotta say, my jump shot was looking very clean today. I was automatic, man. But my jumper was not looking as clean as my guy, Corey Johnson here, who drove 16 hours from Colorado just to play in this tournament. We ended practice with the scout team. I impersonated Yodi Farrell, because obviously he can't dribble and can't shoot, so here I am messing up a pass. As I was watching the first tournament game, I realized that I do not know what I'm gonna be doing on the court tonight. So I called up a two-time NBA All-Star for some advice. Twin. Slime ball. Good. I'm about to play in the TBT in four hours. That's my first ever like real basketball game. They're putting me in the end of the first half. It's called the Mantis play. I'm coming off the left lane off a screen. I'm pulling up at the last play of the first half. What advice do you have for me? Man, I would say you're not going to get a look before you shoot that. That's your first shot. I think it's either going to be just catch and shoot or like maybe a quick pump fake. I'll have like three to four seconds. Damn. Uh, I like to change. You gotta talk shit on the bench. Wow. You guys are going to have to contribute if you're only getting at the end of the half. You gotta talk shit. I've seen the trash talk before. Don't do the, don't do the dap, turn, and drop. Don't do that. You know what? Oh, I bet. We do it, but we do it. <laughs> you still want to play? Leave that one at home. <laughs> You're with him, come up with some, because they're grown men, they're going to get sick if you keep talking shit on the bench. Yogi Farrell might be guarding me on this shot. Oh, you guys are playing Yogi's team. Yeah, and we, and we know, we, he can't go left, he's sorry as hell, so it's like, all I got to do is pop it up, so I mean, you know. I start, I start to heave it. Describe his shooting for him. Heave. Like, like one arm heave. Where are you 
you guys playing at? Uh, Butler at Hinkle Fieldhouse. Is it on ESPN? Uh, it's on Big Ten Network and Fox Sports. Okay, bet. I'm going to tap yeah. in. I'm going to tap in. Yeah, right. Tell LeBron to uh, answer my FaceTime. He's been ducking me. Okay, okay I got you. All right, appreciate it. See you, Tlin. <laughs> All right, it's Talk Trash. Hurt for Halliburton. We know Yodi can't go left, man, so you know, just put the ball pressure. I mean, I'm being serious, man. As I arrived to the locker room, I thought about all the years of work I put in, all the free throws I shot, the years of playing basketball in my driveway, all the times I went to LA Fitness and I was told I can't play. And they all said I wouldn't be here, man. I said, your piece of LA Fitness. Oh, f that, bro. I'm playing for a million. While y'all at home watching me on the couch, man, y'all want to f leave <laughs> for real. I'm overseas, but I don't know. I feel like I'm whiskey. I was ready to put on a show in front of 4,000 people. But I had to wait like five more minutes because this was the last shoot around. I promise this is the last shoot around we had. I swear I'm not trying to show off my shooting or show you that I'm like the best shooter of all time, even though I haven't been to the NBA or college basketball level. But anyway, Roman and I ended shoot around with one last Mantis play. And I gotta be honest, I can't believe I made it. I thought I was going out. But just before leaving the gym was when I spotted my arch nemesis, Kevin Yogi Farrell. He missed it. He looked at me and he missed it. Yeah. Always base there. I can guard him. Oh, that was, that was lucky. That was lucky. All I could think about was crossing over Yogi Farrell, ducking on him. Oh, this child guy, by the way. Shout out to Virginia Ocean child guy. I was also thinking of where I did a water because my legs were actually so tired from all this walking. What's up, man? As a great hooper once said, don't think, just shoot. It's a lot harder to pick up basketball on the streets. That's why it's gonna be so goddamn fun, bro. Let's go! Come on! Lock it, lock it. It's game time! I shouldn't even be here right now, so let's get it! Come on! All of those hours of training have led up to this moment. 10 seconds in the game and Yoji was already struggling going left. But we were struggling shooting the ball as we missed our first six shots. Clank after clank after clank. IU was making it rain behind a three point line the first minute and I had a feeling that I was going to go in sooner than expected. That was until we decided to start turning up the game and we changed the whole momentum of the first quarter. Almost. I personally call a timeout so me and my guy Gavin can give this team some water. Hey, keep applying pressure! Follow the gas! Follow the gas! Okay, one, two, three, two! Cool. Lock in, bro. And I think the water break was the difference maker because after that we went on an insane first quarter run. And one! Yes. But then Yogi Ferro started doing Yogi Ferro things. We started dishing out this, driving to the lane, and worst of all, Green Funnick. Have the audacity to shoot a three right in front of me. I was very sad. Oh, I'm going in. I think. And with 45 seconds left in the first half, Coach Jason came to the bench, looked right at me, and he, he didn't sub me in. At the end of the half, we were uh, down bad. How do you feel right now? Actually, worn out. I haven't played a second yet. I played my role, getting people water. 12 point game. We gotta turn it up. When I use shooting free throws, gotta go under the rim and start yelling at them. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, baby. How was this not a goaltending call? Huh? Goaltending? What? What the f***? What the f***? Are you kidding me? That made me so upset that I decided to have a word with the scores table. Yeah, you got to adjust the score for IU like 40 points. Is that possible? This, you can't. All right, I appreciate it, man. You're a real one. Thank you. Thank you. I got you with the 100 later. Whoever scores more points in the game wins. We got we to be a team that scores more. So if they score less than us, then, we, then you know, hey, we win. Me? We realized that tonight's gonna be a five versus eight game. We had to ball out to win this game, and that's exactly what we started doing. Good pass. Good pass. Oh, yes, go, just real. Let's go, just real. Let's go. Come on. Thank Grimace they call us a goaltending, or else I would have been ejected from the game. Oh! Rebound, rebound, rebound. Let's go, Sam. 
Throw me up, sir! Regulation ended and the TARDIS store of 88 had to be hit, which meant there was no better time to hydrate than now. Oh, it's not, it's not water. Bro, they got walk in here. They got walk. I thought I was only in Poland. Are you actually slipping? Yeah. And after 40 minutes of riding the bench, I realized. I don't think I'm going in. I don't think so. As the game got down to the wire, both teams started getting chippy. Both teams wanted to hit 88 points to keep their dreams of $1 million alive. Oh, and Yodi still stands at free throws. He's like the worst free throw shooter in the country. So bad at free throws. Roman got elbowed in the face by one of those punk players from the IU team, and I was not going to stand for it. Oh, that's a, te that's a tech. That's tattoo. That's tattoo. That's tattoo. It is. And with the game coming down to the wire, I remember what Tyrese told me I had to do to help this team win. You gotta talk shit on the bench. You with it, come up with something, because they're grown men, they're gonna get sick if you talk shit on the bench. Hell no, sorry, miss! miss. <laughs> Bro, this is on the team. My trash talking did not come in clutch as IU started pulling the game away from us. And our Cinderella hope started to fade away instantly. His heel didn't go down. Oh, shout to him. The final play of the game, Doty dished the ball out to some future Shanghai Shark, and then Joey and Gamble took the ball for a layup to win the game. And my dreams of winning one million dollars disappeared. But that's okay because my dreams of jersey swap with Yodi Farrell is about to come true. As soon as I finish telling the IU team good game. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day, Bill. Good day. See you in China. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day, Twin. Good day. Good day. Good day, man. Good day. Good day, bro. See you. My head coach, he promised me one shot during the game. I didn't go in. How about just shoot over there for one shot? All right, thank you. Here we go. All right, I'm in the gym. That's good. I did it. I did it. One shot. One shot. Let's go. We did it. We did it. Heem. Heem. Let's go. Let's go. Congratulations, man. Hey, 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 come get me. Come get me next year, man. I swear, I just need to, I'll, I'll do a little, I'll do it to the price cuts. Just, just come get me, come got get me. You, got All right, yeah, let's, do it, right. let's do it, let's do it. All right, let me, let me we'll unfold it for you. Yeah, yeah, that's why I got you. We'll take, we'll take hey, Mr. Moore, man, for the guys right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hey. All right, over here, hold on, one more, oh, yeah. one more. By the way, four thousand one hundred fourteen. Hey, come get me! Come get me! Come get me! For real! All right. I got interviewed by ESPN to talk about my experience with the team. Uh, obviously, lots of stuff coming out of the internet. Nobody knows what's true, what's not. But uh, what do you have to say about the allegations um, against you and your character? No, I'm trying. I'm trying to hoop. No, I'm trying. Spaders, Spaders, can't comment on off-season trade rumors. Prices are up. Press her up. You saw me in warm-ups. Saw me online during training camp. I just needed a shot. And that's all it came down to. Any truth to you joining Pat Bev in Israel? Man, I gotta go home, man. This is... For real. Right. This is, man. Thank you. It's all good. I wish I got you. It's all good. I wish I did. Thank you for the experience and opportunities. It was so very, very fun. I love my crowd. Big crowd for us. And I, you know, do my role as practice, trying to get guys to show that they're missing out on making more serious views. There are so many moments this training camp where you, like, really stepped up, really stepped up for us, and I was like, unexpected how helpful and how impactful we were on these guys. I kind of thought like, oh, this would be fun, funny, but like, it turned out like, you're actually helpful and, and, and great spirit for guys. You missed it. I went to the scoreboard. I said, hey, can I come to it one shot? Can I grab it? I grabbed it and made it. Oh, oh shit. So I, I got my shot. After the game? Yeah. I got it. We did it. Good work, man. Yes, sir. Good work. That was all you. If you want to come back and do it again next year and I'll get another chance at sliding in there, I yeah. promise you, promise you, I'll suck you. Oh, that's my agent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn, man. Oh. <sighs> oh, I was so close. Oh.
Oh, Yogi Ferrell, my arch nemesis. I thought I had him when we, when he looked at me at, at the shoot around and he missed it. I thought I was like the kryptonite. No, bro, he's still Yogi Ferrell. Like, all these free throws I shot this week, all these three pointers, all these taking my teammates to a barbershop 30 minutes away back and forth to get lined up before I practice. All the, pr no, I don't trade frowns, kid. All this, the work I put in, man, it's just, I never played for a high school, college, junior high. I never played for a national team. And the fact that this is a very serious league is to be wearing a million dollars if you win, they let me play. I hope it is inspires people because if you take anything from this video is that anyone can shoot. If I can shoot and do this, what's your excuse? Pass. Ah! Well, do it your shot, come on. Look, let me show you. See? Even Just... though I didn't miss it, I, I, I missed it but I was locked in. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, subscribe, like it. Uh, if you want to see me check into a college basketball game, click here, there, somewhere, I don't even... How? Anyway, I'm gonna get ready for this, my next video idea. Uh, how'd you do that? Did you know what? It's all. I, ah. Oh god. Oh, that's that's that's, that's turf burn. Ah, oh, my thigh. Ah. This does suck. Are you still recording?